talking about this weather here, Vivian. A lot going on in the forecast today, much different than we've had the last few weeks. Absolutely. We had those really like summer like temperatures just a couple of weeks ago. Now we have winter weather advisories for much of the central coast. So let's dive right into this forecast right now. Not a whole lot going on. A few areas of some light rain shown there on our radar. Not a whole big deal at this point. This is just the very first section of this storm. We're going to be seeing lots more areas of some light rain popping up just in the next couple of hours. But thankfully right now we're warm enough to not have any big issues, but we will be seeing some winter weather advisories start to really show their power in the next couple of hours as well. We could be seeing up to three inches of light snow, especially at those tops of the peaks, especially in Santa Barbara County. But the main thing we're concerned about for today is the possibility for some icing, especially in the evening and later night hours as you head home this evening. We are especially going to be looking out along the grade in North San Luis Obispo County. Any of those interior highways and roadways could be very icy for this evening. Something to keep a really close eye on as our snow levels drop from about 3000 feet where they are right now all the way down to one and a half thousand feet and that's going to be by Wednesday morning. So we're looking at some very icy roads, especially at those high elevation roads in the early morning hours as well. Continuing to see that we also do have a wind advisory for portions of our south coast that is just along our south coast at this point. North northwest winds about 15 to 25 miles an hour, gusting up to 35 miles an hour for some of us, but everybody is going to be seeing gusty winds alongside these systems for today. We also have enough energy in our atmosphere to see some thunderstorms. Checking out our storm outlook, we're all in that marginal chance. And what this really means, that one out of five chance of thunderstorms, means we have all the ingredients in our atmosphere to see some thunderstorms. Some thunder and lightning are possible for this evening as well. So keep a close eye on that as well. Checking out your microclimate forecast, timing it out. Right now, this is pretty much much accurate. We're starting to see a few areas of some light rain pop up. This is going to be our next section of rain that's going to move its way down here. Lots of spotty areas of rain throughout the daytime hours today. Those accumulations are going to be highly localized. A few areas already seeing some light snow by 4 p.m. this afternoon. Those are going to really start spreading out and seeing a little bit more of that snow chance, especially in the overnight hours, clearing out by tomorrow morning. So it's going to be a quick moving system, very localized in terms of amounts and those impacts. If we do see any of that rain and those cooler conditions, that's when we could be seeing some icing as well. Checking out that forecasted precipitation, very minimal, especially in North County. That's where we're hoping it stays as minimal as possible because that's where our greatest chance for some ice is as well. A little bit more down towards Lompoc at just under four tenths of an inch. Just keeping a close eye on this, you could see a significantly larger amount of rain if you see any of those thunderstorms passing overhead. So keeping a close eye on that, checking out that snowfall amounts. We could be seeing a little bit of icing in North County, a little bit more as you head into the Central Valley, but the possibility for up to two inches of snow, especially at those highest peaks in Santa Barbara County. Keeping a close eye on that as well. Your area forecast for today, not too bad, quite chill. You're going to want that extra layer. 52 degrees in Paso Robles, 56 in San Luis Obispo, 53 in Santa Maria, 55 in Lompoc, and 62 degrees in Santa Barbara for today. Checking out that seven-day forecast. Today is going to be our main weather day significantly cooler for tomorrow as well. It's going to be a cold start to your Wednesday morning, then clearing out and warming up for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and even into early next week when some 70s are going to move its way back into the forecast for today. Just be sure to stay very weather aware. Keep up to date on KSBY.com and on the KSBY microclimate weather app for all the latest on this storm. Neil, back to you. All right. Thanks, Vivian. The time is